everyone, Brianna here with So Cute and Quirky, and today we are going to make this darling apron. Follow along with this free tutorial and you can make your own. Also, check out my website at quirkybee.com to find more patterns and videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And you're gonna need a half a yard of your main fabric, a half a yard of your contrast fabric. You will use a rotary cutter to cut your main body fabric 18 inches by 32 inches. You're going to cut two ties, four inches by 30 inches each. You're going to cut your waistband five inches by 22 inches. And if you would like pockets, you will cut your optional pockets six inches by seven and a half inches, two each rectangles for your contrast fabric and your main fabric. You're going to need thread, coordinating thread. I use Orifil 50 weight for this. And if you want to add some optional pocket trim to give it a cute look, you're going to use two six inch by one and a half inch contrast fabric to add a little flair to those pockets. And you will also need a tube turner. I use an empty or a fill spool and I'll show you how to use that to make the straps. Fold over your hem about three eighths of an inch and press it, fold it over three eighths of an inch again and press it and then you will top stitch it a quarter inch from the edge. Now you have a nice clean edge and you will repeat with both left and right sides of your apron, fold over twice and press about 3 eighths of an inch and then top stitch. Take two of your pocket pieces, contrasting piece and the main fabric piece and also your one and a half inch by six inch piece of rectangular fabric. You're gonna fold the one and a half by six lengthwise and press it. And then you're gonna take your main fabric for, for myself. I use this on the front of the apron. You can use it on the inside or if you wanna use the contrast on the front or do something else. But this is just a little decorative piece that we're gonna add. You're gonna place it up at the top of the pocket like this and then you're going to take your contrast piece for myself I'm using it for the inside and you're going to place that on top and then you're going to pin it and you will go ahead and you will sew along all three sides and you'll want to start down here leaving an opening all the way across and over and down and back Take your pocket and turn it right side out and poke out all the corners. You can use a corner tool to poke it out or that purple thing or something to help you poke the corners out and get them ready. And then you will press it, press the raw edge inside and we will place our pockets on our apron. I have my pocket here and I've top stitched across the decorative element. Now I'm gonna place my pocket. I placed a ruler here to help me and I'm going to measure in four inches and down four inches and I'm going to place my pocket at that position. So since I am going to go down four inches and over four inches, I'm going to now place my pocket at that position and I'm using a ruler to keep it straight and you can use your ruler that you have at home at your grid ruler, which will help you and then just pin it and then you're going to stitch. You want to stitch where you start a little bit inward and you go down towards the opening of the pocket over to the left and then down towards the bottom of the pocket and over again and then you make the same motion here where you're making like a u shape almost um, a small u on each side to give it more stability so let's go add vintage rickrack or detail. I've added the jumbo rickrack where I'll stitch on both edges with a free motion foot to add that jumbo rickrack. This is vintage 
rickrack and you can also use other trims and fun colors. I've used other ones like the pink and the binding and eyelet lace. It all looks really cute. Give it a try. Take your two apron ties and fold them lengthwise and you will stitch them a quarter inch seam allowance along the raw edge to form a tube. Now it's time to turn the ties. I'm going to use an empty spool of Orifil thread and I'm going to use a chopstick to turn it. You can use a tube turner, but I'm gonna use this and it's free and it's quick and easy. This tie is 30 inches in length and when sewn about an inch, inch and a half. So, and you just squash it down and I've shown another video of this um, and you just squash, squash down all the way down to get just a, a little bit sticking out like this here. Take your tube turner, stick that inside there just like that. And then you push through and this is 30 inches of fabric. And look at that. And I can do the same with the second piece. I, I'm going to take one end and I'm going to fold it in on itself just about a quarter inch inside to hide that raw edge. I'm going to iron my tie all the way down nice and flat and then I am going to stitch an eighth of an inch top stitch here and here all the way down. Take your waistband and lay it out lengthwise. You are going to fold over and press a half an inch along the length, another half an inch along the length and press. Then you will go ahead and fold in a half an inch on both sides and then you will fold and press in half, in half. We are going to start gathering our apron. You want to have two long tails of your threads from the top and bottom and have that pulled out. And then you also want to set your machine to a basting stitch. Mine is set at a five. The longest stitch that you have is going to work for this. And you're going to go ahead and baste along the top around a quarter of an inch. You do not want to back stitch as you're doing this at all for at the beginning or the end. You're going to take one of your threads from stitching and you're going to hold on to it. You have your other thread in the bottom and you're going to start to just pull a little bit and you'll see here I'm gathering and then I'm going to just go ahead and push it down some and so that I can continue to gather. You want it to be able to be the final length of your waistband because it's going to go inside the waistband when we stitch it side. And I've taken my waistband that I've already pressed. I have unfolded the half inch of the portion of the waistband and placed the right side of the waistband to the wrong side of the back of the fabric. And I started clipping. I opened up this half inch here and I started clipping to my gathered apron. And you're gonna go ahead and just continue to clip all the way. Stitch along this line, just shy of where you folded it, inside of it, and stitch along that to attach the apron to the waistband. Now we see the front of the apron and we see the waistband. The waistband has been attached from the back. We are now gonna go ahead and take the sides that we had ironed fold them over. We'll have a nice clean edge. And then we're going to take the waistband completely and fold over along where we ironed. And we are going to take the waistband and cover where we have the gathers. We're going to pin it across. We're going to stitch all the way across and we will enclose that waistband. We do want to keep the ends open. We're going to take our tie and we're going to take the raw edge of our tie and we're going to place it inside about a quarter of an inch into the waist strap here. You are going to sew a rectangle to attach your tie to your waistband. Now that your apron's done, have some fun!